I decided to wait a little bit when I was making this video. After the update was released because I knew that when it comes to Rito updates, there will always be bugs or unexpected side effects, which they usually patch within the following days. It's no secret that this update has a lot of issues. So I will try to focus on the ones that I find in the most need of fixing. The first issue is the sound. When the update was released, the sounds were a complete disaster. You could not tell the direction of a single one of them. Plus, the quality of the sound was terrible. It's like there was a weird static with every sound. Like shards of broken glass were getting pushed against one another and then forced into your ears. On the following day, a hotfix was deployed, which took care of the weird static and a little bit of the sound direction problem. But another problem was found. The sound distance was way off. At times you hear vehicles moving or grenades going off that feel like it happened right next to you, when it was more like 20 or 30 meters away. And the long-standing issue of the sound disappearing is still unfortunately present. At times you won't hear the first shot fired at you, or the footsteps of an enemy right behind you. Also there was this new sound bug I found on day one. Yep, the sounds of the tank shell and me dying were delayed by 3 seconds. Let me know if you found even more sound bugs that I've missed by the way. Yeah. Moving on to the second issue, the armor. The new armor system changed how vehicle damage works, making it so that vehicles are made out of components that if destroyed would have an impact on how the vehicle behaves but not necessarily destroy it. Also according to Rito it added realistic armor values to tanks and other heavy vehicles so that their components would not be destroyed so easily. Overall I find this system to be extremely unrealistic. For instance, when a tank as lightly armored as a Panzer I gets shot by a 45mm APCR shell, it just can't keep moving on like that. In fact, forget the tank, the driver inside the tank should have a 45mm hole inside his body. Also light vehicles like Jeeps and Kubals should not be able to take 3 or 4 hits by APCR shells before getting destroyed. People have been talking about how hard it is to destroy a tank with anti-tank infantry weapons. It's hard to destroy a tank with a tank, since with the exception of the tracks and the mantlet, all other components are not visible to tankers or infantry to aim at. Also there is the fact that it hasn't been made public that tank component locations are identical to those in real life for each of the tanks in the game. And based on initial feedback I got, it looks like it's just RNG, which component you're gonna damage. Also there is the armor layers mechanic. It acts like a damaged sponge, with no realism whatsoever. Even the deflection mechanics were abandoned in this update, meaning that sloped frontal armors no longer deflect incoming shells. Overall, it does not make sense at all that even if you penetrate a tank with your shell, it could still take anywhere from 4, 5 to 15 shells before you destroy it. And I'm not even gonna start with planes that now are made out of paper. Sustaining damage from the ground now can be fatal, which would be fine if it was anti-air ground weapons, but it's not, it's just infantry weapons. And they can affect the plane disabling its rudders or its wings. The third issue so far is driving. Driving was notorious before the update. Just look at this clip of me trying to chase the skating crowd on my motorbike. Driving mechanics change, so that sort of thing does not happen again. And what we have now is that sort of thing. I uh, put everything wrong because uh, the queue took so long. I got flipped like a fucking random tanker. Ah, uh, yes, a random tanker did this. Fuck you! <laughs> Yes, this is not healthy. Oh, it's healthy. Yes. Thank you. Random tanker. Or this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or this. that. The truth is driving is still wonky and in need of tweaking. If you ran into something like this yourselves, let me know in the comments. The fourth and final issue is APC spawn time. 
Right now, APCs have no delay time to spawn on them at all. You can even undeploy your soldier and respawn on a well-placed APC near an objective with no delay at all. Which is not necessarily a good or a bad thing per se, it's just a mechanic that will change the game a lot. But when you mix it with the fact that APCs are now almost impossible to destroy by infantry weapons, then it becomes a big problem. You don't even need to sneak an APC into an objective anymore. You just rush the objective since your APC can now tank the damage and as long as the APC driver is alive and near it, you can have your whole team spawning on it with no delay. That takes care of the biggest issues in this update. There are however more things that I just have to say something about. The first one is the gunplay changes. Now some people still don't realize that there was ever a change to any of the guns. And those changes have been reverted on a second day patch. All I'm gonna say is that Ritu have been working on this update for such a long time and yet they did not realize the changes it did to the guns. And they changed the game physics so much. Which sadly means that they either forgot to check or they simply didn't notice the difference. Also another hilarious bug that was there on day one was the kill cam that let you see under the map. Like in this clip, I was trying to test if my jeep would be destroyed by the anti-tank mine, or in this one. And that's when I saw those assets under the map. I can see the rest of that little tree, but then I saw this hay bale. Okay, before you come up with any funny excuses, there is no reason for that hay bale to be there. And who's to say that there are no more objects or assets just lying around under the maps. And for a game that is already struggling for performance, this is just a strange thing to see. Also, for some reason, Ritu decided to have light tanks and recon plane resources added to higher tier resources in stage games. I really don't know how new players that are just trying to grind their new starter planes or tanks are supposed to compete against medium tanks or planes. I hope they would take a look at that as soon as possible, as the grind now will be almost impossible for new players. So that's my honest opinion on the new update. I think it was not ready to be released maybe even rushed, and overall I'm not a big fan of it. I'm sorry if I ranted for too long, let me know what you think about the new update. Do you agree with what I said, do you have something else to add to it, or do you have a different opinion altogether? Looking forward to reading all of your comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.